This is Morning Motivation for Educators on the Bee Podcast Network. Learn about all the shows at bpodcastnetwork.com. You'll hear from a variety of formal and informal educators who help put this podcast together. If you'd like to contribute your voice to this show, please go to morningmotivationedu.com to apply. Good morning, my friends. I'm Candace Noss, a physical therapist, a wellness coach, a disciple of Jesus Christ, and a mother of six. I created my business, the Mind Body Spirit Trifecta, where I am the liberator of love. I open hearts so you can fiercely love God, love yourself, especially your body, and love others, even the prickly ones. I enlighten and empower others to magnify their mind, body, and spirit in order to create and live an elevated, meaningful life of fulfillment. It's all possible once you own your divine greatness. I am thankful this Thursday morning for the reminder to examine and purify my motives. I have a question for you. Why do you do what you do? What is the reason you desire what you desire? One of my favorite sayings, I think it's from Henry Eyring, is repetition should rivet our attention. The thing that has been repeatedly coming to up for me over the past two weeks is the vital necessity of making sure that I am living with powerful, unconditional love as the motivator for all I do. One of my favorite universal truths is love wins. It's true. Love wins every time. This kind of love that is not transactional or conditional, but this is the kind of love that Christ exemplified. It does not come naturally to normal mortal human beings under the influence of the natural man. This kind of love must be learned and intentionally practiced. This transformational type of love, this is the type of love that always wins every single time. We know through scripture that charity, the pure love of Christ, never fails. This genuine, undefiled love sees others, truly sees them, and sees their greatness. Despite current circumstances, this love sees potential. This love is selfish. It doesn't expect anything in return. This love is focused exclusively on someone else's well-being, their healing, on their glory, without reciprocation or sense of being owed anything. This expansive, inviting, selfless love has perpetuity. This is the kind of love that never fails, but always wins. This is the kind of love I desire to motivate my every action and strive to attain in all my relationships. I believe one must truly know their own worth and love themselves without exception in order to wholeheartedly love others in this transformational way. I teach a course called Living Spiritually Connected. It's all about how to increase our access to our own intuition and increase our capacity for personal revelation. I've been reminded many times over that this selfless love is the reason that spiritual gifts are given. It's not about us or to benefit us. It's about how we can use these spiritual gifts to help others. Spiritual gifts are given for the profit and learning of other people so that we might more effectively bless their lives. They're not given to impress, they're given to bless. When our reasons for doing things are love-based, where we desire to be more useful and helpful in order to benefit others, selfless love becomes the pure motive behind our efforts. We then strive to lift others up, regardless of what happens to us. And the paradoxical thing is, when we lose ourselves in the service of others, living from this selfless love, we truly end up finding ourselves and living into who we really are. Pure joy, delight, and fulfillment are the result of a life motivated by love, centered on serving others. Love wins. It is a journey to learn how to love God, how to love ourselves, and especially our bodies, and how to love others, even those prickly toxic ones, in this way. The truth truly is, love wins. Everyone wins every time when this kind of love is the driving force behind all that we think, all that we say, all that we feel, and all that we do. So why do you do the things you do? What is the desire of your heart? I challenge you to examine and purify your motives, always remembering love wins. And remember, you are designed for greatness. 
Thank you for joining me today and for being part of my journey. I believe in you and I truly am thankful for you. If you'd like more from me, I invite you to listen to and subscribe to my podcast. It's called Designed for Greatness with Candace Noss. Grab my free mini course to help you become the boss of your brain. It's called Five Days of Focus. And I'd love for you to join my Thankful Thursday email. You can always contact me through my email address. Links are in the show notes. And remember, own your divine greatness. Thanks for listening. And whatever role you have in education, we have a podcast for you at bpodcastnetwork.com. Who among your friends and colleagues needs to hear this message today? Please share it with them right now.